Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val and we're going to jump in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you. All right, Cancer, um, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Node. So of course, keep in mind, it's not going to resonate with all of you. This is a general reading, um, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And uh, I do offer personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Cancer, so it looks like here that, you know, they've been really working on some things and thinking and planning a lot. I don't know if they've communicated this to you, like their plans quite yet, um, but I do get the sense and see here that they've really been, um, you know, thinking of some things and figuring out some stuff about you and them. It looks like though them, you know, creating these plans towards you and them is what gives them strength to face a challenge, to, you know, do something, conquer something, say something to you. And it looks like it's actually what gives them the courage and the strength to take care of some things is actually along the lines of things that may have been so like painful, annoying, burdensome, just a lot for them that they didn't need to deal with or carry. Now they're letting go of all of that. Okay, now they're basically at this point where they're dropping all burdens and stress, you know, whether it's about you or other stuff here. And that made them feel really happy and motivated and excited to move forward. It felt, you know, it made them feel motivated and inspired to say something to you. And maybe now there's some good news. Now they're more open and susceptible to, you know, new things here with you. And that's creating a new passionate chapter here and a new beginning with the both of you. Something very beautiful here. Okay. And it looks like towards the end here, it made them become more responsible and take accountability for themselves and actually protect themselves and guide themselves in a sense where they're putting up, you know, boundaries towards other people, places and things and energies that just aren't serving them anymore. So they can really plan and do what they need to do here about you and them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify here and see what's going on. Okay, so on one hand, this could be family members, you know, a family, like maybe, I don't know, like someone that already is in there, like it's a family member to you, but they may have their own commitment. They could be planning some things towards you. Some of you, it's like a surprise or planning a surprise party for you, or they're planning some sort of togetherness where the whole family gets together, something beautiful like that. For others of you, it's either to plan, what they're planning on is getting married to you, committing to you, or you guys are already in a marriage or commitment of some sort. And that's what's causing them to want to think of some things here, what they can do. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, there's something here about 
Um, for some of you, maybe it's kids. I don't know, but it doesn't have to be. But like curiosity, love interest, you know, a sense of um, sending you a message of love and forgiveness, you know, really caring about you as a person. That's what's giving them the strength to want to go ahead and do this. So they're going to tell you how they feel about you, whether it's, you know, like I said, I'm not really sure yet. Like if it's like a platonic, they love you, they care for you as a person, or they are in love with you, or they want to tell you that they have romantic feelings for you or towards you, either or of those things. So it can kind of be like, a loving family member, a loving friend, or someone you guys are romantically involved with, either or here. But it looks like because they have so much fun, excuse me, and there's something really innocent and nice about the two of you, that's what gives them the strength to want to really, you know, move forward and do something here with you. Yeah, so it looks like here that... They really do, um, you know, they kind of find you a mystery. Things are very unknown and hidden sometimes for the both of you. And so it looks like here that they've decided to kind of like work on their own intuitive, subconscious, conscious mindset and thoughts and whatever's been going on deeply within them about the two of you and no longer believe any kinds of illusions or deceptions against you. And that's what made them realize that's the burden they're going to drop. So maybe they used to think negatively about you or whatever it may have been, or they could have been someone that just needed to always know what's going on. That's the burden they're releasing and letting go of. Yes. So, you know, on one aspect, they are very intuitive and spiritual and or religious. Um, this is someone that really knows how to guide themselves and listen and be more understanding and loving and patient. It looks like here that for some of you, like I said, they are full blown committed to you, loyal, faithful, trustworthy to you. Others, it's just for others of you, it's more so like they're, you know, very committed to their own path, whatever that may be of their own life path here. But based on all that, whatever it may be, that's what's causing them to want to pursue you and talk to you and send a message to you in some way, shape, or form here, okay? And for some of you, like I said, it's the marriage and kids and all of that. Yes, they have a lot of love for you, okay? They really do love and care for you or care about you, okay? Um, or they're emotionally committed to you in some way, shape, or form or related to you. And that's what makes them want to have this new beginning. If it's romance, there's so much sparks and, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, like a spark, uh, not a fling. It's, it's like if it's romantic relationship between you and this person, it's just that passion and starting over again. For others of you, if it's someone else, it's just really opening that new door and trying again here and being very excited for that yeah and there are the there's the both of you right there popping in together so you guys are very loyal and loving and committed and also protective of one another here and so once again they have this love and emotion and devotion to you that's what's causing them to want to kind of like take responsibility and accountability for themselves and really create what they need to create with you and put their boundaries and walls up towards people and places that just aren't good for the both of you and that's what i have for you today here cancer the signs you could be dealing with today we have pisces cancer scorpio leo aries sagittarius and that's about it thank you bye